Hey guys, this is your midweek special that we decided to give you guys. We have a lot of footage that we can't just give you guys every Saturday. We decided, yeah, let's give you guys a... We're kind of doing a midweek kind of update? Yeah, midweek That's just this update. Week. Yeah, just this week. Because um, we've received a few questions asking us what do we still have left to do on the, on the yacht? People don't really know how much work goes into building a yacht and what's <laughs> left to do and etc etc yeah so we thought we'd share with you what we still have on our list to do we we'll finish it yeah we just just passed half now of the the initial list that we had we just passed half but there has been something that pitched up along the way um some of the forward deck stuff we weren't planning on doing but they're around the anchor People never seal up there when they cut for a new anchor winch and or the windlass and that yeah, gave problems so I decided I'm not going to take a chance right now while we add it, change all of it into miter core and we're doing a from, from the bottom fit, so upside down fit, it's a bit, bit of a mission, it's dirty work but yeah, just not to, to have so much deck work, you know. What you see when we did the deck repair was only half of what it takes. You know, that's sealing it up and getting it to level. After that, you got to fade down and get it really smooth. And it's also in fast forward, so yeah, <laughs> it doesn't go that quickly. Awesome. Um, but yeah, so and also what we wanted to. A lot of people said, why don't we group our videos in like Bimini and we just or Dodger and we just show that. Mm -hmm. Or we can't do that because then you'd wait a while for episodes because we wait for supplies or. We wait for our NIDA core to be delivered. So we're not going to build this home or the Home, home Depot, Depot or whatever that the things off the shelf you grab it and you go. We're going directly to suppliers and that's the reason why we're saving some money doing that. So our complete list to do here as we go. So we still need to put in our countertops, which we We've got the countertops in. It's just the the the, the formica yeah. layer. We're gonna put for mica, and we've decided on a color. We just just because of weight. We'll be doing that later, though. Once, because you don't want to mess stuff on that. So mm -hmm. that's later. Right. We then. Drawers. I need to CAD draw it, and the guy needs CNC cut and not put it together. Now those drawers are for our galley. It's only drawers we have. Three drawers. And fit fit in our kitchen appliances and sinks and whatnot, which is quick. quick. Right at the end, yeah. Um, we need to still get our powerpoints. Mm -hmm. Um. Do a final paint. Yep. Windows need to be done, which we've we've been. We'll show you guys, and you guys can help us decide. That's the two window options. Yes, it looks better on my phone. On the left there, you've got the tint. On the right there, you've got the clear. I just put two in as a sample because you don't want to get it wrong when you do the whole boat. So give us a vote below. We need to get the gas done for the inside. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get a gas car to come and do the connection. Yeah. Not that you can't do it. I mean, you could do it yourself if, if you it's understand. Just, and I do understand it. Just to be safer. Electrical, we need to do. Yeah. That's gonna be correct. <laughs> There's a lot of wiring going in. Cabinet doors, which we we are still waiting for our damn hinges. Mm. Um, but in, in in PE. To give you an example, those hinges have been ordered six weeks ago. We're still waiting for them. No, they haven't even been ordered six weeks well, ago. Well, yeah, he's still, <laughs> he he's, still needs he's to get, get back, back to us. us. And we have called like, I think, every single day. Yeah, right? that's what happens when you go direct and not to the other guys. So, that's, once that's done, we can put our cabinet doors in. Mm -hmm. um, our lighting as well needs to be installed. But that will only be done once we get the headliner sheets, and the headliner sheets will only be done once the final paint is on. So that's... Yeah, last, last. most of these things are going to be done last. Um, our roof lining needs to be done. We still need to add insulation foam in the back cabins, but we haven't because of the decks. And the, the tracks that we're fitting. So yeah. I want to fit the tracks before we put in yeah, the yeah, you, insulation. Yeah, because you need to do that. Uh, curtains and blinds we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, but that's also not too big of a fuss. Our floors. Right at the end. And we give a sneak yeah. peek of our floor looks. Here's a little sneak peek of our floors. This is just one panel. It's, it's a dirty one. Because we were. So, this is a sample. Yeah. But this is what we're going for. 
super lightweight and the guys that are supplying us give us a 15 year guarantee on the stuff that's wear resistance for 15 yeah. years. Then we got some plumbing, good old plumbing, doors, our bedroom doors. Um, that's going to be interesting as well. Should we put doors? Um, I feel we should, I don't know, you guys can also let us know. I feel we should put doors if people come and stay. I mean, it, maybe from a woman's point of view, you need doors. I don't know. But let us know. No, you probably do need doors. In cabins. Um, yeah, I think we do need doors. Mattresses. No. We get mattresses made. That's easy. Fans, we need to find fans. When it gets hot enough that we're sweating, we'll go shop for fans. We need to recover our head cushions, those cushions mm -hmm. there. Um, we did work decrepe, but we've pretty much done that. It's just once we have to give a nice coat of paint, then the, then it can be done. Yeah. It's not done until it's, it's done. It's a little <laughs> bit of sanding still. Our electrical panel. That's landed in South Africa. Cushions for our seats and outside. Mm-hmm needs to be made as well we need to make our saloon table waiting for two but we're waiting for posts, for posts or legs whatever yeah. you want to call them we need to finish our washing machine counter but that will do as we when we get to cape town yeah when we get to cape town because that's not we need the washing machine installed to do the top of it um, because it has its top loader so it has a special lid that we need to make that matches with the lid on the top loader mm -hmm. so but it's not a big deal so we'll do that in Cape Town and then we need to stabilize that area and do insulation stabilize yeah so nothing goes to oh. our through holes yeah we yeah. closed up most of the through holes because of the locations that they were really I felt that they weren't in good places and we had six through holes and we're only gonna have three, three in total now. We need to buy and fit our head basin and that's mm -hmm. gonna be tricky because to find a fiberglass basin. No, uh, we're trying to stick light. We'll, we'll, we'll get a nice little light. And size wise and all that stuff. Rigging. From Cape Town, we we'll need to order that. that. Yes, we do need to order that. We need to sort out our damn dinghy. <laughs> Yeah, we need to put some floorboards. Because the one we got just come with floorboards. Yeah. So we need to sort that out. And then also our, our motor. Yeah, we've got a two horsepower. That thing is... Yeah. I think I'm going to flog it and try and go for like an eight horse. Yeah. Instruments need to get installed. I'll leave a link in the description or on this video um, about the instruments we've purchased. Yeah. So you guys can go check that out. So we still need to install our solar panels. Yeah, we've got about 700 watts of solar. So, and um, I'll probably be building my own lithium batteries. So stay tuned, subscribe for that stuff. Guaranteed it, I still need to import the stuff. And the reason we're doing it like that is if we buy it locally, we cannot afford it. If I import and build them myself, um, it's just above the price of AGM batteries. But then obviously I need to build them myself. Mouse prep, we need to clean her up again, make her look nice and shiny, mm -hmm. and then also run on new lines. Yep. Which is going to be interesting. Yep. We need to buy a new life raft, nice new and life expensive. Life. Yep. We're going to go for a six man life raft. In Gen, <laughs> uh, we want one, but. Um, we'll see how the budget allows at the end of yeah, our. At the end, walk. when everything's in. Maybe when we get to Cape Town. Then. To prep a hole, we need to sand on the epoxy primer that we've put up and then mm -hmm. as well as do anti fouling. Yep. But that will also be done close to the time. At the end. Oh, getting two into weeks water. before we go in. We need to service our Suzu engine here that we have. Yeah. So major service and possibly repaint. Yeah. Make it look nice. Two days job. And um, And repaint the entire engine bay. Yeah, and we've decided we're gonna keep her. For now. For now, because we just cannot afford two new engines yeah. as much as it would be great, which is not possible at the moment. And so we'll service her and most likely sail down to Cape Town with her, test her out, feel more confident with her, and then go for me. Um, we have almost completed our Dodger. It needs to be sanded and sanded and final paint. And then get, get two stainless steel posts that need to be. Mantle on the back, yeah. yeah. Attached to the back, and then yeah, we install her. We need to add our name onto the boat, but that will also be done closer to the time of 
departure. Mm -hmm. We wanted to remove the stainless steel anchor. Yeah, the... We call that thing anchor... Anchor plate. roller. Anchor roller. So the anchor roller we're going to replace in the front of the stainless steel where we're going to take all of that, cut it shorter inwards and... Um, but for now, there's no real finances to go yeah, into maybe that. just do the anchor. Build our own anchor. I managed to get some CAD designs of anchors. So I'll get the guys to CNC cut it and then I'll weld it up, send it for galvanizing. And yeah, it'll be a nice strong anchor. And we need to paint our deck, fix our longest gauge that yeah. I think is yeah. RPM. That, I think that's the one that's broken. I think, yeah, the RPM and temp. We'll probably just put in new sensors, new oil pressure sensor, oh, new, nice new temperature sensor. So we'll just replace that. Um, we need to paint the royal blue hull. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we did some epoxy work there, and there's also previously rubbing against yeah, one of the check marks. Um, watermaker. Ricky needs to make the watermaker. I do. Um, <laughs> I've been kind of procrastinating because I don't have time to to start getting into it. Paint our bulges. Yeah, so we've taken off all the old pool coat or flow coat off the, out of the bulges. They were they looked gunky, it looked old, they looked bad. So we've grinded all of that down with the flapper down to glass. We're we'll putting a new layer of full coat so the bulges will look brand new. Music, oh, that's a little sound system. Our door has been... Stay tuned! Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> Our door is being completed. Deck uh, that's what we're currently front. busy with. Yeah, we're busy currently doing deck repair in the front there. Yeah. I think it was like on one of our first episodes that we did and then I never finished it because we too busy completely with other forgot things. about it, so yeah. yeah, it's been finished now. Engine compartment storage has been complete. We just need to you'll see that as well. When we run the electrical, we'll run. There'll be lighting into both the engine compartment. Now that they're just empty spaces. Yeah, now there's storage. So yeah. I put engine compartment slash storage. <laughs> Very much. So hopefully in the future, okay, it can be engine compartments, but now there's storage. We, we still need to do the framing for that hatch. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then we just have to sort out our passports and stuff, all the general Pretty much. traveling stuff. And vaccinations. So cool, we're almost there. We're like so probably we're... two weeks away from launching. <laughs> I don't know what shit you're smoking. Every day is endless work. And um, if you guys are considering doing this, go ahead. Just bite hard. So yeah, that's what we've been up to, what we still, not what we, well, kind of what we've been up to, what we still need to do. So comment about the window, Windows. what do you guys think? Obviously, I love the clear, but practicality, not so much. Not long ago, we had like, oh, yeah, rip out yeah. half the boat and do bulkheads and floorboards and beds and build that washing area and the head man you're gonna make mistakes that's without a doubt i didn't build boats for a living before this so you're gonna make a mistake you're gonna make a mistake but there's a lot of things we learned there's a lot of things we like um we built the boat pretty much to what we could afford this is not the best work that you could do on a boat without a doubt i can say it myself but for the budget that we have and the time that we have i think it's pretty good and also i feel like a, a yacht is a very personal thing it's like your home yeah so we do things we're doing things that we feel comfortable doing and what we want yeah, in our home. we want to know home yeah and by the way guys texture coat it's double thumbs bomb. up seeker flex cool on windows don't do your through bolting with it i felt that uh, the butyl tape that i've done on this hatch a couple of the deck plates is a better product. I mean, none of the Seeker Flex stuff that we did leaked. None of it leaked. But I feel that the butyl tape, with. easier to work with. Uh, I feel the, the seal is pretty good. Installing the little hatches in some areas, like in the shower, there's a there's a uh, dry hatch that goes in there. I seek it, I'm going to Seeker Flex it. And just because it creates perfect, nice seal, it does a lovely little trim on the outside and it's white. So, in some places it works better than other places. Different bulks, different strokes. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Obviously video. enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, got nice and like it if fingers. you like all the work we still have to do. Not so much work, but we still got work to do. We're getting there. And thanks for sticking with us through our journey. 
guys are legends, man. And all the positive comments that we get. We get negative ones too, but... Negative Nancys. But the positive guys, love it, man. Love it. Love the advice. Love the input you guys give. Commenting down below. Always great to read when, when I've got off. Simone does the admin stuff, so... Most of the she, times, I'm flying unless it's very technical. Yeah. And a big ups to Simone. I mean, all those videos you guys are watching, that's all Simone editing. I pretty much just play with tools on the boat all day long. Love you guys. Ciao. Oh, and props to Ricky for building me a beautiful boat. <laughs>